welcome back to the Independent Investor Channel. So good to have you and introduce you to a company that I've just recently uh, been introduced to myself and will actually be taking a share position in. Uh, I do receive compensation for providing these profiling, but let me caveat this. Those disclaimers will be provided in the description below, uh, and I will chronicle. I'm in the shares now, about 2,100 uh, shares, and I will be uh, achieving about a 25,000 share position. Uh, for full disclosure, Aduro Clean Technologies has just entered into uh, the Game Changer program with Shell Oil. Uh, this is a big deal. Uh, Aduro Clean Technologies is about a $40 million market cap currently. Uh, it does own its own IP, and what they've basically done is they have solved the plastic recycling problem. Now, they do have some other verticals within the business. We will discuss those verticals as we get into the investor slide deck, as well as discuss the current position of the stock. I would rather not uh, focus on that. Uh, rather, the uh, technology's uh, most recent development in collaborating with Shell in bringing their proprietary technology to bear, which is far and away the best solution in this niche marketplace. Um, there are some 2025 mandates that are going to require all the major companies out there, guys, and we're talking across the board. And for you guys that uh, really can sit back and understand how dominant plastic is uh, in our world in 2022, the, the irony in the whole thing is we haven't figured out how to properly recycle the hard to recycle plastics out there. And Aduro Clean Technology has just discovered this and they've been working on this for the last 10 years. They've been doing it uh, under the radar. And just as of late, uh, they have just entered into a groundbreaking uh, uh, game changer program with Shell to help accelerate their technology to mass commercialization. Now, when that's going to happen, we don't know. The company's probably in the process of being re-rated right now, but it is timely enough for us to push forward this awareness profiling on Aduro Clean Technologies. I would expect that every investor out there take this for what it is, is an introduction to a company that the hard work has already been done. Like I said, 10 years in the making, and have you ever heard of the company? No. So sit back and enjoy this introduction to a company that I've got about 20 hours of due diligence on. I will continue to evolve with the company. The original timelines that were projected for realized revenues of the company have just been blown out of the water with this recent announcement where Shell is basically going to partner with Aduro Clean Technologies, and they are going to help them to commercialization with both utilizing their in-house uh, resources uh, as well as some uh, compensation to help accelerate their uh, third-party validated technology we know works using low-heat uh, water-based methods uh, to break down those plastics that typically end up in our oceans and in, uh, in our landfills. This is a story that is near and dear to my heart. Please stay tuned as we jump into the investor and corporate presentation from Aduro Clean Technologies as they march forward in their initiative to solve the plastic problem, to address the one-time use of our plastic products, and to close the loop on what we are pursuing in way of a circular economy. Guys, appreciate it. Let's jump into the investor slide deck and get into Aduro Clean Technologies. Love to introduce you guys to Aduro Clean Technologies. We're going to jump into the corporate presentation. You can find this and much more information on the cutting edge technology that Aduro brings to bear at adurocleantech.com. It's hard to believe in 2022 that it's taken this long to bring forward a solution that is practical, um, does not take an over amount of energy and is not um, uh, under efficient. Uh, Aduro has solved this problem on all fronts and really has brought forward a next generation solution using low heat, using low e energy um, and, and providing um, a, a solution that uh, on the back end can be used for and complete the recycling circle, um, which is everybody's gold here with a circular economy to make sure that what we are producing doesn't get subjected to a one-time use uh, and end up in our oceans and our landfills, which is currently the situation 
for over 80% of our plastics that we produce. So Aduro uses what they call the hydrochemiletic uh, technology. Uh, it is next-gen technology. Uh, it is uh, uncomparable uh, across the landscape when you look at the efficiency uh, of this technology. It's low heat, so low energy cost on the input side. Um, therefore, that uh, cost savings can be quantified on the back end when this technology is, is brought to bear. Uh, a lot of the competing technologies don't even stack up at all against Aduro's technology because it just costs too much to run the technology. That's kind of what it comes down to. Now, Aduro does set itself apart with its patent protection. Um, I consider the IP to have an extremely, extremely wide moat. Um, they do have six issued, one pending, and much more in development. So when we're looking at their addressable markets, I'm going to focus primarily on the plastic market with the current developments in Aduro being selected for the Game Changer program with Shell. Uh, but they do have other uh, verticals that they will be expanding into. The Bitman upgrading is very, very exciting. Um, and also, you know, looking to take and leverage their technology in, er in, in other areas. But for right now, it's really important to focus on the, uh, the wide cutting edge uh, over the technology right now that uh, other companies are looking to deploy in the space. So the one aspect of this slide that I want to highlight is the third-party independent technology validation that uh, occurred. So it's not just a Duro stepping forward and saying, hey, we have the best uh, solution. This was actually verified by a third-party independent technology uh, company. And very, very important in understanding that this technology works. And this slide speaks to what the roadmap to commercialization would have been prior to the Shell deal. Um, this slide is actually outdated because they talked about the three-tier uh, step into starting with a smaller reactor, um, which the R2 project will still remain um, uh, in line here, but they're not going to have to do a three-stage or a three-part step in. Um, it's now going to be accelerated with the assistance of Shell uh, to bring their technology to bear quicker, which is really why we're so aggressive on making sure that investors have all the information that they need because this story is moving so rapidly um, at this current pace. And when we get down to the projections, you're going to understand um, how this phase-in process, how they were going to take the uh, first reactor learnings and uh, segue those into the second and then subsequently the third reactor phase and take the learnings from each as they stepped into the larger uh, continuous feed reactor. And then finally, uh, an iteration of the reactor that could be taken to commercial scale. Um, all of that right now has just been accelerated to the maximum extent now that Aduro has been selected by Shell in their Game Changer program because Shell is going to assist them with all of what is mentioned on this slide that spoke to a previous uh, internal and organic uh, type of step into the process. And, and the Shell news has really changed all of that. Uh, so expect that this story is going to rapidly accelerate um, as this reactor uh, gets brought online and they have the opportunity to put this technology into a much larger continuous flow type of an operation. So the three verticals that I spoke of previously here, I am going to focus on the, um, uh, the plastics right now, the recycling and upcycling of the plastics, but it is uh, safe to mention that the Aduro technology does scale across many verticals and the total addressable market um, is, is very serious. Um, I, we're going to keep the um, short-term focus on the plastic developments, um, but it is uh, incredible to understand the Aduro opportunity uh, in its entirety. And then just, this just speaks to the other uh, markets that they are going to take their technology uh, and leverage it in. So the space right now is aggressively looking for a solution and this just speaks to some of the solutions that are currently out there. Aduro stands alone with its, um, uh, uh, its technology. But it is incredible here to understand that the mandates that are coming down are going to drive the 
um, the necessity for these companies to select their technology. One other important piece to note here is that Shell has already selected a DuroClean technology. It is done. They are in. And if you don't think that that's going to get the attention of not only the other oil majors, but also some of these other large uh, plastic producing companies, which is pretty much every company out there, this just earmarks a few. But do not underscore the hunger right now in scouring over this to try to determine what technology is going to win out. Shell has already made their decision, and that is going to make waves in the industry. And I can expect over the coming months that it is going to absolutely put Aduro on the map, if not already, uh, from the recent developments of them being selected into the Game Changer program. So in the hydrochemolytic plastic upcycling here, you can see the liquid yield at over 90%. It just far and away the best solution. Uh, I have done my due diligence on the others. I'm not going to focus on um, the other companies that are bringing other uh, technologies to bear. I will just say that uh, in my research, it has required a massive amount of heat to be inputted, which creates or requires uh, a massive amount of energy to actually deconstruct these plastics. And with Aduro's technology, they're able to yield over 90% of, of, the, of the input from the feedstock and actually recover that at a relatively low temperature uh, with, uh, with their technology. It really does set them apart. It differentiates Adoro from the competition out there, if you want to call it that. Um, Adoro stands alone in this uh, process and the uh, technology that has been validated third party and now has been selected by one of the major companies out there to be um, accelerated uh, in their path to commercialization. So exciting times here as we monitor this technology really being uh, leveraged and put to good use uh, on a massive scale. I just want to differentiate between what this slide is communicating to uh, the audience in the life cycle of, uh, of our plastics. And the idea of upcycling the plastic, recycling right now currently does not work. We have a one-time use uh, currently um, where the plastics are ending up uh, where they're not supposed to be, in landfills and in the ocean. And the idea here is that if we can take this feedstock and uh, put it into this reactor, uh, we have the ability to take a, and, and produce uh, a material that can actually be upscaled and not have to just return it into what it was previously used for. And I think this is fascinating to provide some optionality that once the uh, uh, material is produced on the back end, the idea is that you can take what was previously um, lent to waste uh, in our landfills to deteriorate and off gas to the atmosphere and now the ability to take that feedstock and, and, and put it in and actually have a, a product that is better than the original input is really the takeaway here. And, and previously, the polyethylenes, polypropylene, and the polystyrenes um, have been uh, lent to waste because the technology just did not exist to break down um, those chemical molecules. And now here, the life cycle uh, from the Aduro process, which suggests that, that is not only possible, but also to upcycle to, um, to other products that are needed in the marketplace. This slide is important. It just spokes, it speaks to the total input of uh, tonnage uh, estimates uh, per year of feedstock into and leveraging the Aduro Clean technology and what that could potentially mean for both Aduro um, and the uh, businesses that they are partnered with. Uh, a payback year of around six to seven years uh, on the technology is fabulous. After that, they own it. Um, they own the equipment that has been put into that, and Aduro will continue to make residual licensing um, income off of that, and the projections are staggering. Uh, if they can get this accelerated to the marketplace, we can really start to bring this technology to bear and start to enjoy uh, all of the positive benefits of actually seeing this technology uh, at mass scale for both Aduro, uh, but also the customers that they serve, and more importantly, uh, the world uh, that, we li that we live in. And this slide is awesome. Um, this basically just takes the amount of input that could be projected 
uh, and utilizing the Duro Clean technology uh, for their customers, what it could mean both on the licensing and or the owned and operated side. Now, I don't know what direction they're going to move. I think it'll probably be a combination of both to start. But I think Aduro is probably going to stand to benefit a much more from the licensing aspect of this business model. This slide just speaks to the opportunity with both. Uh, when with a, an anticipated input of feedstock to the, to the process here, um, what are the gross margins, which are fabulous, between 40 and 50 percent, and what the payback for their customers could mean, which is super important when they sit across the table uh, and they offer this technology. Now, mind you, this model is is only applicable to a, a certain number of tonnage. They could meet this with certain majors um, just with one company. Uh, so you take this model model and you multiply it many times over. You could expect that Aduro could stand to benefit from multiple licensing deals with many of the majors out there using this same input model of anticipated feedstock uh, that can continuously flow into the reactors and, and be processed, providing that payback 24 hours a day, seven days a week to the customers that they serve. Prior to the announcement of the Shell acceptance to the Game Changer program for Aduro Clean Technology, this timeline would have proved uh, to be the insight to the commercial development plans using the scaled-in approach that I spoke about at the top of the presentation, um, this no longer is valid. Um, and I don't know what the uh, additional uh, revisions to this timeline are going to be with the Shell News, but it is completely uprooted, and it has completely changed the game for Aduro. So instead of having to go through this organically, which they were provided grant money, Naduro sits on a pretty good cash position. But to execute across this timeline to 2027 would have been fairly capital intensive. That, my friends, is gone. Um, Shell has not only uh, partnered with Aduro uh, in way of seeing this technology to commercialization faster, but also to offer uh, some of their in-house um, uh, um, uh, resources to actually help accelerate uh, the Aduro technology to commercialization. So where this was prudent in, in stepping through the process of um, putting the reactors uh, online, uh, making sure that um, any learnings from the reactors that uh, were put in, in can be adopted in the next generation of reactors, um, all that has changed, and standby for roles, we will continue to cover the developing story as this timeline has been condensed in incredibly uh, from 2027 to an undisclosed amount. Nobody can tell how quickly um, this announcement is going to bring the Aduro technology to bear, uh, but stand by for roles, and we will cover those developments as they unfold on this very, very exciting story. These discussions for subsequent hubs for the reactors um, are, are still ongoing. I don't think anything would have changed here. I just think that we are pushed into an accelerated time frame now um, with the potential of having these reactors available to Aduro Clean Technologies and the customers that they serve uh, sooner than later uh, with the assistance of, of Shell and, and bringing the technology to bear quicker um, than what these uh, original extension and expansion plans uh, called uh, prior to the announcement here just this week. So this timetable to step into potential uh, recurring revenue for Duro Clean Technology um, has also changed. Um, we can anticipate that the non-recurring revenue during the customer trials will also be uh, mitigated as well with the assistance of Shell. Uh, bringing the technology to bear quicker. Um, I would expect that the, the break-even point will be reached earlier. That's just my presumption. Guys, I'm using the data that has been uh, previously um, released uh, from Aduro and, and combining the new data that we have. And this announcement with uh, Shell is so new that nobody knows how these numbers are going to shake out. But it would be safe to presume that these numbers will shift to the left and we will expect that a break even is met earlier because we know that Shell is going to assist with some of what Aduro previously projected to be some in-house cost 
in developing this product. It's denoted here on the chart. Um, those should be negligible now with the assistance of Shell, not only with uh, financial resource, but also uh, in-house uh, expertise and consulting that Shell is going to bring to bear and assist Aduro in bringing this to commercialization quicker uh, for the benefit of Shell and also Aduro in bringing it to other customers out there who also will need this technology. Important to note on this uh, slide here that the share float is tiny. Um, just over 87 million shares, 46%, uh, dare I just suggest half, of all insiders own this stock. This has been the best kept secret for the last 10 years as they've developed this technology. And these folks who are involved with this are serious. And so you guys are getting to sit back and have this introduced to you in a matter of minutes when this is just over a decade in development and the insider ownership just speaks to the conviction over this technology, how well it works and the potential that exists with this company. Company sits at about in between a 40 and $50 million market cap right now. I would expect that the re-rating is happening as we speak. Um, the value over the IP is probably double just what the market cap is as a total company. Um, that's how big this announcement was, but I also sus suspect that the $100 million in value that I put on the IP is probably also being re-rated to the upside. So stand by for rolls here as we try to earmark a value on this company with the exciting news that has just been released this week. This is just a wonderful summary slide showing the comparison to traditional technologies that have been put to work here and how Aduro really separates itself on multiple, multiple fronts and only to be validated by the Shell acceptance to the Game Changer program. Uh, it's financial elasticity. It really does have a low operating expenditure and capital expenditure. It is scalable. Uh, lower cost when compared to its peers. Um, it is uh, flexible. Uh, it uh, minimizes the byproduct, which is huge. So I talked about the 90% efficiency on the back end um, of, the, um, uh, of the product that's produced after recycled for the potential of upcycling for their customers. So the advantages are, 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 are real. Uh, Aduro really does have a wide separation from its competition. Uh, and it's um, incredible to, to see the competitive advantage that they have in the technology that they're uh, bringing to bear here. And it's going to be exciting to see once they're able to scale up and see this work on a massive scale for Aduro technology and the customers that they serve always like to shed some light on the upper management and this is a who's who on this Aduro Technologies team. Um, these guys are incredible, uh, led by uh, Ofer Vikas, uh, co-founder and CEO of the company, uh, Marcus Trigstad. He is also um, has a wealth of knowledge in the space here. Many, many interviews are available. I've reviewed uh, many uh, featuring uh, Dr. Anil Jawar and Jean Kamek as well. Um, some incredible, incredible interviews and driving this initiative forward is really going to fall on the backs of this team here. And I, I cannot uh, expect that anything less than spectacular results uh, from this Aduro Clean Technologies team here uh, moving this initiative forward over the coming years. Why invest now? Um, that's a question that you need to answer for yourself. Um, I, I've disclosed an investment in this company. Um, my due diligence uh, was about triple what I typically do um, on on uh, providing uh, awareness uh, content through my YouTube channel. Uh, but the bottom really speaks to, uh, from a comparative perspective and, and how undervalued Aduro is, um, they have the best technology and they're one of the most undervalued companies in the space, uh, quickly to be accelerated by the acceptance into the Game Changer program by Shell. Um, their, their high output, over 80% of, uh, of um, just incredible output on their yields, um, as well as their um, share ownership at 50%, which is right aligned with investors. Look, you're investing right alongside management here. For a company that I feel like is really flying under the radar, this is a very unknown company, and it's been in development for 10 years. Uh, we've spoke about that, and the technology having been validated by the third party, 
uh, it's going to be exciting to see the scale and, and really look to solve this global problem uh, that we that we deem the plastic problem. And I, I am of the uh, determination that a Duro Clean technology has actually solved the plastic problem. And it's going to be exciting to see how this company develops its technology with the ex assistance of big industry going forward. But it just speaks to the investing opportunity that could be unfolding right before our eyes with Aduro Clean Technologies. So on behalf of Aduro Clean Technologies, I'd like to thank you for staying with me through this presentation as we cover the corporate presentation uh, as disclosed by Aduro Tech. Um, this and much more information can be found on the company's website at www.adurocleantech.com. And you can contact uh, either I, Abe Dick or Over Vicus. They provide their uh, contacts here uh, through the website. Uh, I thank you again. Reach out if you have any questions on this amazing cutting edge technology that is going to take us into the next generation of, of recycling and upcycling in uh, an attempt to clean up the plastic problem in this world. Thank you so much. Really appreciate it. And we'll kick you back and we'll conclude the video. Okay, so we've come out of the profiling of Aduro Clean Technologies. I think you can tell my excitement level of this is through the roof, but that's not my job to come on and show excitement where business is the most prudent uh, recipe for doing your own due diligence and looking into the exciting technology that Aduro Clean Technology has broke. The team is fantastic. They own half the company, so they are aligned with shareholders in this goal going forward. The ability to produce this product at such a high efficiency rate on the back end of either upscaling or uh, up uh, recycling their um, product after this uh, continuous feedstock is put into the reactors is going to be a game changer for the majors. Think about those institutions out there. And the amount of reliance that we have on plastic to deliver anything from a Tide bottle to a Tylenol uh, bottle, uh, our plastic recycling has been deficient for the decades, and we have been stumped in our ability to actually recycle this hard to uh, recycle plastics. And hopefully you took away the ability of a Duro Clean technology to do it at an, an extremely high efficiency level. Uh, to look at the uh, competition on the landscape and compare market caps right now, a DuroClean technology is unknown. Uh, it's going to change, and it's going to change quickly with the validation that has just been put in place within the, the last couple of uh, days. So we are hours removed of this groundbreaking announcement of validation from Shell Oil. And there's no bigger who's who in the oil industry in validating this technology and, and really looking to put this to the rigor of commercialization and continuous flow to realize the dream of Aduro Clean Technology. And that's uh, finally closing the loop on the plastic recycling loop and actually uh, promoting a circular economy where we can actually reuse that waste that we're putting in to the economy and making sure that we're getting uh, that those products back and can reintroduce those uh, for commercial use uh, on, on the other end. Guys, I appreciate you tuning into the message. All the information used in the making of this video is going to be provided in the description, as well as many articles that I read reviewing the space. If you were one of those people like me who just assumed that all plastics got recycled and reused, um, you need to learn yourself up because I think that's the number one piece that you'll get out of this message is the education and understanding that over 80% of our plastics end up in the oceans or in the landfills. And until now, Aduro Clean Technology is looking to march us into the next generation using their technology and leverage the power of that technology to provide benefit to their customers, Aduro Clean Technologies, and more importantly, the world as a whole. Please subscribe to the channel. Leave your comments at the bottom of the video. Guys, thank you so much for tuning in to the totality of this message this very important message near and dear to my heart on covering Aduro clean technologies.